starting with the legs. We're gonna go into a lunge, so. See, just gonna take a step forward, nice, nice big stride there. This leg's bent at about a 90 degree angle. It's, it's about where we want it to be. Come back up, straighten out your legs all the way to engage your quads. Make sure to squeeze your butt cheeks together at the top as weird as that may sound to engage your glutes. Towards the other side, back up. Just take that to failure from there. So we have more of the quads that time. This time we can uh, hit more of the hamstrings. Hands are aside. We're just gonna extend our hips up. Back down. Hips up, squeeze the butt cheeks together at the top. Back down. Back up. You get the idea. When you do that, you're at the top. In addition to squeezing your butt, your butt cheeks, try to Act like you're pulling your feet back to not engage your hamstrings. So I'm, I'm trying to do this, but I'm not allowing my feet to move. So I have my hamstrings engaged, just like that. And from there, again, this is a really small range of motion. I'm gonna turn around so you can see it a little better. With our feet about shoulder width apart, we're just gonna raise up onto our toes, contract our calves, back down. Again, nice, small range of motion. All right. I'm gonna be using the dip bars once again. Just to reiterate, if you don't have access, please shovel or, or golf club. Or, uh, just over two chairs or two couches or something among those lines will work. We wanna grab the bar the nice wide grip, wider than shoulder width or as wide as this thing will go. Pull ourselves up, squeeze our shoulder blades together just like we did for the uh, standing row earlier. Back down, pull ourselves up, squeeze our shoulder blades together, and back down. That uh, wider grip's gonna be working more of the terrace major, which uh, sits really close to the lats, has a lot of the same functions, but gets often under work, so this may be a little harder if you're just starting out. From there, we can go into the same thing, just keeping our hands about shoulder width apart. So, go into the hold, pull ourselves up, squeeze our shoulder blades together, and back down. Pull up, back down. Right. And of course, we're gonna go into the close grip, get again, just closer than shoulder width will do. Because you, you've, uh, Elongate the distance between yourself and the bar with a closer grip as opposed to maybe something like a wider grip. You're getting more of a stretch on the lats because of the stretch reflex. Once you get to the point of peak contraction, you're going to be working the lats a lot more. So, for a close grip, pull ourselves up, back down, pull up, and down. All right. From there, we're going to move on to push-ups and we'll show modifications for those of course so if you're just starting out you can go off your knees just make sure we keep them together hands about shoulder width apart and then just apart from the fact that you don't have the leverage on the ground the way you would with the incline push-up or on the wall it's pretty much the same idea just bring ourselves down elbows floating slightly out to the side i'm going though within an inch of the grounds just you can also go just to the point where Arms are making a 90 degree angle. Okay. Come to the top, make sure you're not rolling the shoulder blades forward because this isn't necessarily a stable position for them. You want to be extending through the arms fully to keep them back. Or keep your shoulders back. So, see my shoulders are back. Down, back up, and I'm keeping my back flat all time. Down, back up. And from there, we're just going into push-ups with a little bit of a closer grip. Anything pretty much closer than shoulder width will do. Because of that, we're gonna be working more triceps and we're also gonna be moving a little bit closer into full adduction. So, uh, full adduction of the shoulder. So, apart from that, it's really the same idea. As you can see, 
All right, so that's push-ups done. We can start to move on to the abs. It's another variation of a crunch. All we're gonna be doing differently is just lifting one leg up at a time. So doing crunches from there. And then of course, just make sure to switch legs. Apart from that, technique's the same as regular crunches. And lastly is the conditioning. So, and uh, again, keeping things simple, we're gonna go with uh, just regular jumping jacks. Uh, so, so for this, kind of like the cap raises, if you, you wanna make sure that you're on the, I don't know if you can see the balls of your feet the entire time as opposed to being uh, on the heel of your foot or flat footed, it's gonna make it really hard to generate power. And of course, for something like this, you wanna get power from the ground up. So start with our feet and our hands our side, S spread them out, get them on the ball of my foot, back in, back out, just keep repeating that, just repeat that to failure and then we're done.